The parent of an Italy player told me that they usually don't bring officers to away games. Tonight they did, and it didn't sit well with some of the parents on the Roosevelt side saying that they thought it was an overreaction. Thursday night lights. We're usually here on Wednesday nights. Roosevelt High School Mustangs taking on the Italy High School Gladiators, but the players on the field aren't all varsity. The Roosevelt varsity players were suspended for the first half, watching their JV team from inside because of what happened last week in Fort Worth. The half game suspension was punishment for this. During the fourth quarter of Roosevelt's game with Eastern Hills, a fight broke out. The game was called because the fight got out of hand. Erica Burkhalter is the parent of a freshman at Roosevelt. He gets to play. They asked the parents if JV can fill in for the first quarter, and I allowed him to because he loves the game, and that's what we're here for. Fort Worth ISD made Eastern Hills forfeit their game next week. Wednesday, Italy ISD informed parents that the team would have a police escort to Dallas and two officers would be near the sideline as an added precaution, a move some Italy parents thought was an appropriate response. I think it is. So, I mean, if it'll keep the conflict down and keep everybody in control, then yeah, we need it. But that wasn't the same feeling on the other side of the field. I think that was just um, a, um, a mistake on last week, and this is a new game, new chance. Just let them play and have fun. So I think they just overreact. Well, I don't think we was here. we're not here to fight. We're just here to win the game. It's an overreaction, but it's good. The more the better, right? I don't think you're going to have the same situation you had with Italy that you had with Eastern Hills. Uh, so it's a slight overreaction based on who you're playing, but the more the better, right? You need control. The Dallas ISC police chief met with the Italy officers at the start of the game. He told Fox 4 the district had a regular game police presence. While the disadvantage on the field showed greatly in the first half, Greg Searles is happy the JV players got some varsity game experience. A beautiful day for football, beautiful night, weather's changed, no rain, uh, and these kids get a chance to play, so that's a good thing.